so much to learn about It'll make you want to shout Blippi! <laughs> hey! It's me, Blippi, and today I'm at Defy Trampoline Park in Tumwater, Washington. Yeah! Did you see how I came prepared with these sticky socks? Yep, they allow for me not to slip. And this is gonna be so much fun because you and I are gonna learn our ABCs. Yeah! Whoa, look at this place. This place is awesome. Hey, awesome starts with the letter A. Yeah! Ooh, this is really fun jumping in the air. Wait a second, air. Yeah, air starts with the letter A. Yeah! Woohoo! Check it out! I'm bouncing in the air. Bounce! Bounce starts with the letter B. Yeah! A, B. Whoa! Whoa! Here we go! Whoa! Woohoo! <laughs> Did you see that? That was a backflip. I'll do it again. Whee! Whoa! Backflip starts with the letter B. A, B. Whee! Check this out. This is a black basketball. Black and basketball starts with the letter B. Ha ha! I made a basket. Basket also starts with the letter B. Whoa, I'm getting really tired. Maybe I should crawl. <laughs> Wee, I'm crawling. Hey, crawl starts with the letter C. A, B, C. Yeah, C is the next letter. Ah, wow. Hey, I'm acting like a cat right now. Meow. 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 Cat also starts with the letter C. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, look at this area over here. This looks like a dodgeball area. Whoa. Looks like I have a couple opponents in the dodgeball area. Dodgeball starts with the letter D. Dodgeball is a really fun game. Ah! Oh, whoa! How are you throw these balls at people? Oh! Okay, here we go! It's on! <laughs> Looks like they are double teaming me! Whoa! Double team starts with the letter D! Whoa! 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 Here's some more balls for you! I'm dodging these balls. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Let's get out of here. Wow. So far, we learned the letters A, B, C, and D. Those are the first four letters of the alphabet. Woohoo! Just acting like an eagle. Eagle starts with the letter E. Go! 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 <laughs> Can you think of another animal that starts with the letter E? Hmm. Oh, I can. One that's really big. It's gray, has a trunk and tusks. <laughs> Elephant. Elephant also starts with the letter E. Whoa! <laughs> this trampoline park is so much fun! Woohoo! Hey, that's our next letter! F! Yeah, fun starts with the letter F! <laughs> Whoa! Alright, 
Let me fall into this foam pit. Foam and fall both start with the letter F. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that was fun. Whoa. All right, I'm gonna go over here to this rock wall. Hey, check this out. Here's a rock wall right here. I'm gonna use my hands and fingers to grip these rocks. Hey, grip starts with the letter G. Whoa! <laughs> Whee! It's like I'm a gorilla. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's fun. I love acting like an animal. Hey, speaking of an animal, gorillas like to hang. Yeah, hang. I'm hanging. Hanging starts with the letter H. <laughs> that has been so much fun learning all these letters with you. Hey, look at this. This looks like a hand. Whoa. Yeah, hand. Hand also starts with the letter H. This has been so much fun learning all of these letters with you. Hey, let's recap so far. So far, we have learned A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. <laughs> Okay, what's the next letter? I, yeah, I love this place. <laughs> Woohoo! I, <gasps> Whew. it's getting really hot though. Oh, I wish I had some ice cubes. Yeah, those would cool me down. Or an igloo. J is for jump. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, whoa. Hey, another word that starts with the letter J is juggle. Might be hard with these cubes, but I'll try. Whoa, <laughs> that was awesome. Hey, let's continue on. I'm acting like an animal. Can you tell what animal I'm acting like? <laughs> I'm acting like a kangaroo. Kangaroo starts with the letter K. <laughs> Whoa, and check this out. It's like I'm flying a kite. Yeah, kite also starts with the letter K. And another word, kick. Oh! Ha <laughs> I'm kicking these foam cubes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, wait a second. The next letter really summarizes what I think of this place. L. I love this place. <laughs> It makes me so happy being here. Whoa! Do you love something? Maybe you love your sibling. Maybe you love vegetables. Maybe you love your parents. Maybe you even love ice cream. This has been so much fun learning the alphabet with you. Okay, let's recap. A. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. And the next letter is M. Let's hit that music. <laughs> I love music. It makes me want to move. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whee! Hey, 
I want to talk to you about something really serious. The grown-ups that you know told me something about you. They said that you are really nice. Yeah, that's the next letter. I am so proud of you for being nice to your family and friends. Yeah, good job being nice. All right, now it's time for me to jump. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! 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 <laughs> oh! No! I'm stuck! <laughs> I'm not able to get out of here! Oh no! No! <laughs> oh. Alright, there we go! I got it! Whoa! Whoa! I bet if I was an octopus, I would be able to get out of there really quick because they have eight long arms or tentacles. Whoa! Whoa! Octopus starts with the letter O. Hey, have you ever had an olive before? <laughs> yeah, there's black olives and green olives. An olive starts with the letter O. <laughs> mm, mm. want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? Oh. Polly want a cracker? <laughs> Polly want a cracker? Blippy, blippy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a parrot. Yeah, parrot. Go, 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 go. Starts with the letter P. Woohoohoohoo! Hey. I just want to say thank you for being positive. Being positive is really important for our Earth. Yeah, it's really nice hanging out with positive people like you. Positive and people both start with the letter P. Whoa! Speaking of birds, one of my favorite kind of birds. It has a little thing on top. Yeah, looks like this. <laughs> Do you know what kind of bird that is? Yeah, it's a quail. Quail. Oh, they are so cute. And they actually make quiet noises. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna run around like a quail. Whoa! I just ran up to you really quickly. Hey, quickly starts with the letter Q. Yeah, Q is such a cute letter. <laughs> okay, let's recap all the letters that we've learned so far. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q. Yeah, those are all the letters. And we just recapped. <gasps> Recap. Recap starts with the letter R. Yeah, that's the next letter. R. Hey, and what is this? Whoa, this looks like a ramp. Check it out. Ramp starts with the letter R. Whoa, come on up. Wow. <laughs> hey, remember this area? Yeah, we had some red pieces of foam and red starts with the letter R and Whoa! Rope! Whoa! Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That's awesome! Rope, red, and ramp all start with the letter R. Come over here! Whoa! Check this out! Do you see what it is over there? This looks like a swing. Yeah, swing starts with the letter S. 
And that is the next letter of the alphabet. Okay, let me sit down on the swing. Yeah, sit. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> Whee! Whoa! Woohoo! Whee! Whoa, check this out. This is a trampoline. Hey, trampoline. That's our next letter, the letter T. T is for trampoline. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Look, I'm acting like the letter T right now. <laughs> My arms are the top of the T. My legs are the bottom of the T. <laughs> oh, that's silly. <laughs> Can you tell what kind of dinosaur I'm acting like? A T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> I love T-Rexes. Oh, I am getting very tired. I should probably lay down. I am so tired. Tired starts with the letter T. Oh, okay, I think it's time to keep playing. <laughs> You see this? I'm acting like a unicorn. Whee! Flying in the air. Woohoo! Yeah! Yay! I'm a unicorn. Unicorn starts with the letter U. I think we should recap again. We've learned A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U. Yeah, good job. All right, we are almost done. Okay, the next letter is the letter V. Do you hear that? That's the sound of a violin. Yeah, violin starts with the letter V. And violins are an instrument. Wow, such beautiful sound that is. Ah! <laughs> That's not a beautiful sound. Ah! Ah, 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 ah! That's the sound of a vulture. <laughs> vulture also starts with the letter V. Okay, I'll fly in the air like a vulture. Yeah, V is such a really cool letter. Hey, look how I'm walking. Yeah, walk. Walk starts with the letter W. I'm walking backwards. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Whistle! Whistle starts with the letter W! Did you hear that? Yeah! Did you hear that? My whistle? You heard my whistle? <laughs> I'm whispering now. Well, not now, <laughs> but right there, that was a whisper! And whisper starts with the letter W! <laughs> a xylophone is another instrument. A xylophone starts with the letter X. Yeah. Hey, it has been so much fun playing at this trampoline park today. And good thing we have been very safe because if you break a bone, you have to get an X-ray. Have you ever had an X-ray before? Ooh. Well, X-ray starts with the letter X. <laughs> 
Did you hear me yell at you from way over there? Yell starts with the letter Y. And hey, check out this cube. Yeah, this is a yellow cube. Yeah, yellow starts with the letter Y. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Now I'm acting like a zebra. Zebras are black and white, and they start with the letter Z. Yeah, Z. That's the last letter of the alphabet. Woohoo! Another word that starts with the letter Z is zip. Zip means to go so fast. Watch this. Did you see how I just zipped all the way down there and zipped all the way back? <laughs> wow, this has been so much fun learning the alphabet with you. Well, I think we should say every letter of the alphabet. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Good job. That was so much fun learning all the letters with you. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. And now you definitely know those letters. All right, see you again, bye-bye. It's me, Blippi. I have all of my camping gear because today you and I are going camping. Whoa, I love the outdoors. Oh, it's so beautiful. There's so many plants and stumps and trees. Whoa, look at this. An insect. That looks like a caterpillar. Whoa, hello, caterpillar. <laughs> all right, we should probably keep going so we can get to our campsite before dark. <laughs> oh, hey, look at this beautiful plant. See this? This is a fern. Wow, look at it. It's the color green. Hey, and here's a tree back here. Oh, excuse me, fern. Look, right here, this is a tree. Yeah, you know what a tree is. There's some bark on it and also, some moss. Look how tall the tree is. It's a lot taller than me, huh? <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can find here. Wow. Hey, look, another insect. Hello, that looks like a dragonfly. Hello, dragonfly. How are you doing today? <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's continue on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> a spider! Hey, spider! Are you having a good day? Here, I'm gonna move you right over here so then I don't step on you. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, wait a second. We have some more insects. What kind of insects are these? These are praying mantises. Wow. They are so cool. Look, this is what they look like. Hello, I'm a praying mantis, hi. <laughs> okay, Whew. I think we're almost there. 
getting a little tired. Whoa! Check it out! This looks like the perfect campsite! Wow! All right, let's go over here and then take off all of our equipment. There we go. There we go. Oh, I think I need some water. <laughs> all right, I'm just unpacking all of my camping gear. Yeah! Can't forget the marshmallows. Yeah, this is for the s'mores later. Ooh, and the graham crackers. Ooh, and the chocolate. Have you ever had a s'more before? S'more before, that rhymes, that's silly. Ooh, and my s'more roaster. <laughs> Ooh, and my coloring book. So then I can color in the tent later. This is gonna be fun. All right, what else do we have here? Well. We have our water right here. You definitely need to bring water. Yeah, so then you can hydrate. Mmm, yum, I love water. Ooh, I have my orange sleeping bag. <laughs> this is gonna be so cozy. <laughs> Ooh, and a blue chair. I'm gonna set this up later next to the fire so then I can enjoy watching the fire and so I can roast my s'mores. <laughs> okay, all right. We have a pair of binoculars. Whoa, look at them. This is so then you can see things from far away, like birds. Whoa, there's one right there. <laughs> Hello, birdie. Hello. <laughs> all right, set those down right here. Ooh, and a lantern. Check this out. Wow, it's a really bright light so then at night you can see when it gets dark. And a giant one gallon thing of water. So then when I'm ready to go to bed, I can put it on the fire. So then we don't start any forest fires. That would be really bad. Oh, yep, my camping stick. <laughs> yep, you saw that later. Helps me with my balance while I'm walking through the trails. And last but not least, my tent. Yeah, it's like your house. But when you're in the wilderness, yeah, you need a place to sleep, right? Yeah. All right, let's open it up. I think I should pitch the tent. All right, here we go. like a puzzle. Whoa! This goes from one end to the other. And then I have another one of these. Now for the fun part. You raise the tent. Good, huh? Ta da! Now we can sleep inside. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I forgot to take off my shoes. <laughs> yeah, you take off your shoes before you get in the tent so then you don't track in any dirt. All right, let's zip it up. Wow. Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> okay, a uh, coloring book I'll put right here. First, I need to take out my sleeping bag. Yeah, my orange sleeping bag. Whoa. 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 <laughs> okay, put 
that right over there. And then, here we go. Wow. The sleeping bags are really comfortable. Yeah, they keep you nice and warm at night. And it's really cold. Okay, here we go. We'll get inside. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> I'll stay nice and warm tonight. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hey, I have something fun to do. I think we could color. I have some coloring crayons right here. Yeah, I love coloring when I go camping because coloring is something fun that you can do because it's creative. It's really great. Have you ever colored? Yeah, what about drew something original? Because this, you can color this tree. Yeah, look, Blippi, welcome to my tree house. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, you can color something that's already there or you can find a blank page and then you can draw something original like blue, one, two circles, and <laughs> a smiley face with a tongue. <laughs> okay, well, what are we doing in here? We're camping, there's so much fun things to do outside. I think we should go outside and play some hide and seek. What do you say? <laughs> I love playing hide and seek. <laughs> okay, to play hide and seek, one of us needs to hide and one of us needs to seek. Yeah. Okay, I'll hide and you seek, all right? So, uh, all right, ready? Let's uh, count to five and close your eyes. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Hello? Do you see me? <laughs> Do you see me? Yeah! Hey! I'm right here! <laughs> Whoa! Good job! <laughs> that was so much fun! Oh! <laughs> this campfire is so nice! <laughs> well, anytime there's a campfire, you need to be very safe. Yeah, I made this campfire and I'm actually a grown-up, if you didn't know. Children should never make their own campfire. And if there is a campfire, you should always have a grown-up around you. If they're not there, you should tell someone, hey, grown-ups, someone should come near the campfire. <laughs> and hey, speaking of near the campfire, remember earlier I had this gallon of water? Yeah, it's about 3.8 liters. <laughs> yeah, you want to make sure you have water near a campfire. Just in case if it gets out of control, you can pour some water on the fire yeah, and put it out. But it's actually in a controlled environment. See this fire pit that I made it in? Yeah, yeah, it's not going to catch anything on fire. And that's another thing. You want to make sure there's no branches or, or leaves or anything above it or around it. Yeah, <laughs> so now that we have a safe campfire, I think it's a perfect time to make some s'mores. <laughs> have you ever had a s'more before? They're so yummy. After a good healthy dinner, you can have a s'more. Here, check it out. So we got some graham crackers. Yeah, and this is a rectangle, but you split it in half. And now you have two squares. Yum! <laughs> okay, and then you also have a cylinder. Yeah, that is a cylinder. See that shape? <laughs> but that's not what it's called. This is a marshmallow, and they're so yummy. <laughs> okay, I'll put that right there for now. Okay, actually, you know what? I should probably be a little bit more organized with this round white plate. <laughs> All right. Then see this yummy chocolate? All right, that's the third and final ingredient of s'mores. I love chocolate. Yeah, 
and there's actually small rectangles. Do you see them? Yeah, small rectangles. And it actually makes a bigger rectangle when they're all connected. All right, the first thing you need to do is put your mallow, your marshmallow, on your stick. So then you do not hold it next to the fire. That would be really bad. You wanna stay a safe distance away from the fire. Yeah, perfect. Wow. And then we're cooking the marshmallow. Oh, it's turning golden. Whoa, it's almost done. Whoa, that is looking so great. Do you see that? Whoa, perfect. This is gonna be so yummy. All right, let's put it right on top of the chocolate, which the chocolate is on the gram, and then the malo, and then another gram. Slide it out. Oh, perfect. Do you see that? I call this yummy, yummy, yummy s'more dessert. Nom, nom, nom. Ready? Mmm. 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 Yum. <laughs> I think this is the perfect time for the camping song. <laughs> Here it is, the perfect place to pitch our tent Beneath the stars in the mighty wilderness We'll start a fire, make some s'mores, and sing some songs. Hey, I know one, it's the camping song. Let's go camping, it's so much fun. We'll learn so many things like how to fish and hunt. Let's go camping and get some sun. Let's go camping cause it's so much fun. We'll go hiking and see all of nature's sights. See some animals and bugs of every kind Then we'll sit around the fire telling stories one by one That's why camping is so much fun Sing along! Let's go camping, it's so much fun We'll learn so many things like how to fish and hunt Let's go camping and get some sun Let's go camping cause it's so much fun we can go canoeing down the river stream row, row your We boat. can watch the birds fly above the trees So much fun we can have throughout the day But don't forget your mosquito spray Let's go camping, it's so much fun We'll learn so many things like how to fish and hunt Let's go camping and get some sun Let's go camping cause it's so much fun Everybody sing! Let's go camping, it's so much fun We'll learn so many things like how to fish and hunt Let's go camping and get some sun Let's go camping cause it's so much fun are so yummy and camping is so much fun did you have a good day with me today yeah well this is the end of this video but if you want to watch more of my videos all you have to do is search for my name will you spell my name with me B L I P P I Blippi good job all right I should probably put out the fire right now <laughs> yeah here we go! <laughs> hey! It's me, Flippy! And today, we're here at the Kogan Family Aquatic Complex in San Diego, California! And guess what we get to do today? 
Scuba diving! <laughs> I just love the water! <laughs> oh, and don't forget, before getting into the water, always ask a grown-up. Hi, Blippi. Jason is a scuba instructor. Whoa, <laughs> and it looks like there's a lot of scuba equipment here. <laughs> so Jason, what's the first thing we need to know before we go diving? Well, Blippi, the first thing we need to do is get our wetsuits on. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're wearing wetsuits. Whoa, Jason, why is it important to have a wetsuit? Well, one, we want to stay warm when we're in the water. And also, we want to protect ourselves from any stings or any animal encounters we may come across. Whoa! <laughs> this is a pretty cool wetsuit, and it has two of my two favorite colors. Yeah! Orange and blue! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, and check it out! Scuba gear! <laughs> What's all this? This is our main scuba kit. This is what we're going to use to breathe underwater. Whoa! Check it yeah. out! Look! There's a big tank on the back! Does yeah. this hold the air? This holds all the air that you're gonna need underwater. Ooh, <laughs> look, yeah. and it's the color blue. Ooh, yeah. oh, and what are these? These are called regulators. We always have a set of two for extra safety for you or a buddy. Oh, <laughs> one for me and one for my buddy. <laughs> my blippy buddy. Yeah. yeah, and do you see? Looks like there's a mouthpiece, right? There is. That's what we breathe the air from the scuba tank with. <laughs> Whoa! I can't wait to breathe underwater and go scuba diving. Whoa. <laughs> and what's this? This big jacket piece is what we call a BCD, a, a buoyancy compensator device. Whoa! A B C D. Buoyancy compensator device? <laughs> Whoa. So this helps us with our positioning in the water. So we can sink, we can float, or we can maintain buoyancy right in the middle. No way! This vest helps us sink and it helps us float. <laughs> it takes Whoa. air from the scuba tank and inflates and deflates in the vest. Oh. If you want to try it, Blippi, hit that gray button right there. Okay, <laughs> let's try. Check it out. It's inflating and floating. And then, <laughs> oh look. It's deflating. I bet that would help us sink. <laughs> yes, it would. Oh. Well, what else are we gonna need? The other thing we're gonna need is our mask. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> look, I have an orange one. Hello. <laughs> this helps us see things underwater, like animals and other marine life, and it also keeps all the water out of our eyes. Oh, that would be so cool to see animals underwater while you're in the water. Ooh, <laughs> Anna has a nose. <laughs> And That's the, pretty cool. <laughs> the last piece of gear that we have are fins. Ooh, check it out. These fins? help us swim in the water like a fish. <laughs> One fin, two fin. Oh, and you put these on your feet? That we do, yes. Oh yeah, look. You put your foot right in there, and then you can swim like a fish, or like a shark, or like a mermaid. Whoa, <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> that, it, it's very fun. Well, I think it's time we get all suited up and get in the water. Let's do it. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> We're wearing scuba diving gear. Whoa, <laughs> I am so excited and ready to start swimming with the scuba gear. <laughs> but Jason, what happens if water gets in my mask? Oh, it's okay. We can get the water out of the mask really easily. Ooh. All we need to do is we put some pressure on the top of our mask. We're gonna look up real high and we're gonna blow out of our nose and that'll drain the water out the bottom. Oh, that's really handy. Uh, but what happens if water gets inside our regulator? If the regulator comes out of your mouth, we can put it back in and clear the water in it by two ways. One, we can do a big exhale like a snorkel. Whoa. Exactly. <laughs> I can do that. The other option is we can hit this button here. It's called the purge button. Whoa. And it blows air and clears that water out. <laughs> Check it out. It's called the purge button. It purges all the water out of the regulator. Whoa. <laughs> That's fun. Can we try them? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Okay. I'll see you underwater. <laughs>
Whoa! We did it! <laughs> Can you see that? We had water in our masks and in our regulators, but we got it all out. <laughs> Great job. Whoa, this is so much fun. Oh, I feel like I could swim just about anywhere. <laughs> are there other places you can scuba dive? Absolutely. Other than a pool, all of the oceans are available for scuba diving. Oh, that sounds so amazing. Can you imagine seeing an animal in the water while you're in the water with it? <laughs> Have you seen any of your favorite animals? I have. I saw a whale one time. <laughs> a whale! A whale! Ooh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I love whales. <laughs> so in the ocean, we can see so many interesting creatures. We can see colorful fish. We can see sea lions and seals, really giant sea kelp and seaweed, and also a lot of different types of lobsters and crabs. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, I think I'd like to do a little more swimming. Do you think we could try some next level adventures? I think you're ready for some aqua adventures. Wanna give it a shot? Okay, aqua <laughs> adventure time! <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I'm so excited to go on my very own aqua adventure. <laughs> so Jason, what are we gonna do first? The first aqua adventure we're gonna do is an underwater obstacle course. Ooh, an obstacle course underwater? <laughs> that sounds great. So on the bottom of the pool, there's a series of hoops, different sizes and shapes and colors, and you're gonna swim through them. And to help you practice your turning, there's gonna be a rope in the middle of it that you can practice turning around. Oh, that sounds awesome. <laughs> I can't wait to swim through all the colorful hoops and practice my turning. <laughs> and it's a great practice for buoyancy, right? Oh. We don't wanna float too much or sink too much. So we wanna be right in the middle so you can go right through those hoops. <laughs> Awesome. This sounds so fun. I think I'm ready to jump in. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. See you soon. Great job, Whoa. Flippy. Wow, did you see? I went through all the colorful hoops and did the obstacle course. <laughs> so Jason, what are we gonna do next? So the next aqua adventure we're doing is an underwater scavenger hunt. Who oh, no way, an underwater scavenger hunt? <laughs> I love scavenger hunts, but I've never done one underwater. Whoa. <laughs> so I place a lot of colorful items on the other side of the pool. You're gonna go around and collect them and put them in the nearby black basket. Ooh, okay, well keep your eye out. We're gonna find all the colorful objects and then we're gonna put them in the black crate at the bottom of the pool. Whoa. And there's one big and, and obstacle. It's the very heavy object that I'm gonna need your help with. Whoa, that sounds super heavy. Hope we can lift it. We're gonna use a lift bag, which means we're gonna use air from our scuba tank to put into the bag and it's gonna help lift the heavy object. <laughs> Whoa, that sounds amazing! I guess we'll have to start right away. I'll see you down there. See you soon.
used a scavenger hunt and lifted the kettlebell. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. That was so fun. <laughs> you're welcome, Blippi. You did so great today. I think you're ready. Let's hit the ocean and I'll let you explore. <laughs> no way! We get to explore the ocean? <laughs> well, I am ready. <laughs> Let's go! Let's do it. I had so much fun learning how to scuba dive with you. And I sure love swimming in the pool. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> And I was just hanging out in this cardboard box. Check it out. It's like a bird. Whee! <laughs> oh, I have so many cardboard boxes around here. What are we to do with them? Hmm. I have an idea. Why don't we take a few of these cardboard boxes and make something out of them? <laughs> this is going to be fun. making a rocket ship out of these cardboard boxes. <laughs> I am using these scissors nice and safely to cut a giant window out of it. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> wow. Ooh, now I can sit inside it later. <laughs> then we can explore outer space. I am so excited. Okay, here we go. So now that I have my window, I can then put the cardboard box, well, used to be a box, now it's a rocket ship, up. And do you see this? This is a square. Yeah, but we actually need to make it a triangle. <laughs> so let's take our scissors. Yep. With your parents' grown up supervision, you can cut this nice and carefully. Okay, one side is done. And now we need to do the other side. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Look at that. It used to be a square, but now it's a triangle. <laughs> okay, now we need some tape to then tape it to make the top of the rocket ship. Okay, here we go. Let's grab the tape, pull off a big piece of tape. Whoa! Alright, let's give it a little slice. Okay, there we go. Whoa! <laughs> okay, put that there. I love making things out of cardboard boxes. You can make so many things. Today we're making a rocket ship, but one time I made a monster truck, another time I made a dolphin, <laughs> and I named that dolphin, uh, what was that name? I think it was Dolphy. <laughs> oh, oh, sometimes the tape gets stuck, but 
That's okay. We got it. All right. There we go. Give it a little slice. And then, tape up the other side. Wow. Here we go. I am so excited to go into outer space. Have you ever seen the stars at night? Yeah. They're so bright. <laughs> and the moon? I love the moon. Have you noticed that the moon sometimes is a full moon? Yeah. Sometimes it's a half moon. And sometimes it's a new moon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's uh, give this a little twist. Now it's time to design our rocket ship. I am so excited. This is one of my favorite parts. So, the first step to design is to have a plan. So let's take this white piece of paper right here and let's draw the rocket ship. So the first thing you need to do is plan. Plan how the rocket ship is gonna look. So let's draw the rocket ship. So we have a trapezoid over here and then we have a big rectangle for the body of the rocket ship and then we have a triangle for the cone of the rocket ship and obviously I want a lot of color so first let's take some orange perfect I love orange and then let's take some blue so let's color it in I have a plan. I'm going to use colored paper for that. So I'm actually going to use this black marker to symbolize that these are pieces of paper. We will do that later. All right. Oh, whoa. There's a lot of stars here. So let's actually, you know, make some stars right here. Yeah. Yeah, I love stars because you see them at nighttime when you look up in the sky and they twinkle. Yeah, kind of like twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <laughs> you know that song. I like that song too. Ooh, and yellow? Yeah, that's a beautiful color. Wow, our rocket ship is looking so good. All right, I think I have a really good idea. Let's take the color red, because it's nice and bright, and spell my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I Flippy! Perfect! Alright, so that is the plan. Huh, looks like this triangle, the top of the rocket ship. Yeah, we could color it. How about we color it? Yeah. Blue. I like blue. And we actually have a lot of blue paint on the here, so we can actually just use blue paint for this part. Wow. Perfect. Whoa. I think if we can make this rocket ship in real life, it's gonna be so good. All right, here we go. All right, like I said, first thing we have to do is use the blue and orange colored paper to put on the side. Just like this. So let's take the glue stick. Yeah. Yep. Put a lot of glue right on the backs. Just like that. Okay. There's two pieces. Okay. There's one. Here's the second piece. All right, there's one, two pieces of paper, and we got to do two more. Yeah, which will make one, two, three, four pieces of paper. I'm gonna put the glue on them right over here. Okay. Now we have four pieces. One, two, three, four. So let me finish the rest and then we'll see how many we have in total after I'm all done, all right? Whoa! Look! <laughs> it's falling! 
falling apart. <laughs> well, sometimes if things fall apart, you just have to fix them. Okay, here we go. And after we fix this, then we can count all of the colors. So, let's take our tape. Alright, now the rocket booster is all fixed. Yep, there we go. Okay, now let's count all of the colored pieces. Yeah, the blue and the orange pieces. Those are my two favorite colors. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces of paper. <laughs> Good job. Okay, what else did we have on our piece of paper over here of our initial plans of our rocket ship to go to outer space? We had stars. Yeah, remember? We had yellow stars. Yellow star. Wow, they're so bright and they twinkle just like the real thing. <laughs> okay, and let's put some blue stars on there. Can you think of anything that's the color blue? <laughs> My shirt. What about the big, vast blue ocean? <laughs> yeah, here's another blue star. Here we go. What about a purple star? Yeah, I like the color purple. Right there. And last but not least, another purple star. Right there. Perfect. That looks so cool. <laughs> All right. So, as you remember, we have to spell my name on it, because that's what was on the plans. But, before we do that, let's do the top of the rocket ship. Remember what color I said I was going to paint it? Yeah! The color blue! Okay, let's take some blue paint, and <laughs> my painter's palette. <laughs> I'm an artist! <laughs> And let's take a paintbrush. Ooh, I love painting. <laughs> okay, and let's squeeze some blue paint right on top. Whoa! 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 <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. Okay, let's give it a little dab. Let's do some painting. Paint me. Go. Wow, this is such a pretty blue. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. Have you ever used paints before? They're so fun. You can use a paintbrush and you can even use your fingers sometimes. We won't do that today, but that art technique is called finger painting. <laughs> There we go. How does that look? Do you like that? Yeah, I do too. Okay, let's put this away. We need to stay nice and clean and organized. There we go. And remember the last thing we needed to do? We needed to spell someone's name. Oh yeah, my name, Blippi. Will you spell it with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi, good job. And do you remember what color? Yeah, the color red. Okay, so let's use a new paintbrush. Yep. And then we need to make sure we don't mix the red and the blue because then it won't be red anymore and it won't be blue. Do you know what color you get when you mix blue and red? Yep, purple! 
but we're gonna keep them separate. <laughs> so, let's take this cap off. Oh, there is so much paint in here. And I like to use a lot of paint. Whoa! There we go! Whee! <laughs> wow, a little bit more. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Okay, let's, uh, before we paint it, we should probably lay it down sideways because we need to write my name, which is sideways. Yeah, there we go. Like that. That's how we write sideways. Okay, let's take our paintbrush and let's put the letter B right here. Alright, now that we have the letter B, the second letter is the letter L. Yeah, just like that. The third letter is an I. Ready? Okay, there we go. B L I. <laughs> you know the next letter. A P, yeah. B L I P. All right. B L I P P. Yeah, here we go. All right. One last letter. B L I P P I. Blippy, good job. <laughs> there we go. We just completed the rocket ship. So now we gotta get inside. Oh no! Do you see what I did? <laughs> we are so silly! <laughs> Check this out. The window is right there. Yeah! That means we have to twist it this way. See? And now, my name is upside down! <laughs> That's okay though. We're gonna fly through outer space in this new cardboard rocket ship. I am so excited. With my name being upside down. <laughs> so silly. Are you ready? <laughs> because I sure am. Here we go! building the rocket ship with me. Now that we're in outer space, I think we should explore our solar system and learn all about it. All right, here we go. Whoa! 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 Look at that. That is our sun, and its name is called the sun. <laughs> How original. Our sun provides all the light in our solar system. And that light takes eight minutes to go from the sun to our planet Earth. And the sun is so big, there's 1.3 million Earths that can fit inside of it. Whoa! That's a lot of Earths. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Outer space is so much fun. Oh, look at that planet. That planet is Mercury. Wow, that planet is really rocky. And it, there's so many craters on it. And actually, since it's the closest planet to the sun, one rotation around the sun is super fast. It's only about 88 days on Earth. <laughs> Mercury is awesome. Look at that planet! That planet is the planet Venus. And it is so hot! It's the hottest planet! Woo! It's getting hot in here! <laughs> the planet has so many volcanoes on it! And it's actually really bright. If you look up in the sky from our planet Earth, you can actually see it without a telescope! Wow! <laughs> here we go! Whoa! That's where you and 
I live. Wow, what a beautiful planet. There's so much water there, and then there's a lot of trees and mountains. Whoa, and our planet Earth, yeah, we have one moon. Let's head there now. sent robots and rovers to Mars. That is awesome. Us humans have yet to land on Mars ourselves, but maybe someday soon, maybe you'll be the astronaut. Yeah, here we go. That's our planet Jupiter. It's the biggest planet in our solar system. And do you see that big red dot? That is a storm. Whoa, that's a big storm. And Jupiter actually has 79 moons. <gasps> that's crazy. Whoa! <laughs> is our planet Saturn. Whoa, what are those? Those are Saturn's rings. Wow, there's so much dust, ice, and rocks that form those to make up those rings. Wow, what a cool looking planet. All right, Saturn, see you later. Bye-bye. is Uranus. Yeah, what a cool planet. Wow, it's kind of blue looking, huh? Yeah, that's because there's so much ice on it. It's known as the big ice planet. Whoa, it has 13 rings and 27 moons. All right, see you later, Uranus. Bye-bye. <laughs> planet is the planet Neptune. It's so dark, cold, and windy on that planet. Oh, let's get out of here. The last planet of our solar system. Look at it. It's really small. That is Pluto. It's so small, it's a dwarf planet. Wow, and it's really cold. I love Pluto. <laughs> it's really chilly out here, though. Let's turn around and count all of the planets, shall we? <laughs> Yay! Whoa! I'm upside down. But now look at my name. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That was so much fun fun learning about all of the planets in our solar system together. Hey, I think we should count all of them. Okay, the sun isn't a planet, so let's count the planets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, oh w w wait a second. Eight, nine? Who knows? Some people say Pluto's not a planet, but I don't know. It's all up in the air right now. Or, or outer space. <laughs> so silly. Eight or nine. We'll keep it at that. Okay, now let's name the planets. Ready? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Wow! Good job! All right, well, I should probably get going now. Maybe we'll go and explore another solar system someday. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. Do you 
see what's behind me? Yeah, these are yellow bicycles. <laughs> and today, I'm in Tenino, Washington, and we are gonna use these yellow bicycles to explore the town. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, wee. <laughs> All right, before I ride this bicycle, I should probably wear my helmet. Safety first. <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's explore this sweet town. How about we learn the parts of the bicycle? All right, as you know, I'm wearing a helmet. That's the first part of the bicycle. Well, it's not part of the bicycle, but if you're gonna ride a bicycle, you need a helmet. And these are the handlebars right here. Handlebars, see? This is what you hang on to while you're riding and you steer, just like a steering wheel in a car. Whee, whee. <laughs> and then the yellow part is the frame. That is what holds all the parts of the bicycle together. This is the seat. This is where you sit down on the bicycle. And this seat is really soft and padded. Makes it really comfortable. And then we have two wheels and tires. And then down here, these are the pedals. When you turn these, then the back wheel turns around. Watch. See it spin? Whoa! And the brakes on this actually are the pedals too. Ready, watch. See when you go forward, this way with the pedals, yeah counterclockwise if you're looking that way, but then clockwise if you're looking this way. So if you go forward, pedaling forward, the bike will go forward. But if you pedal backward this way, then the bike will stop. Some bikes have brakes at the handlebars right up here, but not this one. <laughs> and look, right here, you can mount stuff. This is a little platform for groceries or pizza or vegetables or I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, I should probably get my helmet back on. So then we can continue to explore. Oh, what a cool little town this is. <laughs> All right, here we go. Whoa, do you see how I'm riding this bike on grass? It's actually made for sidewalks and roads and things are really smooth. Yeah, this is a street bike. But they do make other kind of bikes, like mountain bikes. Whoa, whoa! That's a lot better for going over rough terrain like this. <laughs> Whee! Whoa! <laughs> All right. Whoa. This is the quarry pool. Hey, let me show you what it's like in here. This used to be a giant hill that came out to here. But then people way in the past dug it out and it's about 100 feet. That's about 33 meters deep. Yeah, so you cannot touch the bottom. Whoa, whoa. You can actually swim in this place. Wow, and a waterfall over there.
This definitely looks like a fun place to swim. Whoa! 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 I think my bike is broken! Whoa. Oh! Hey! Perfect! This town has a bike stand with a bunch of tools on it. All right, first thing we need to do is put the bike right up here. Oh, perfect. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. Ring, it looks like it's doing a wheelie. Ring, ring. <laughs> All right, enough of playing. We need to get to work so we can fix it. Check this out. Looks like we have some Allen wrenches. Oh, and then we have a flathead screwdriver. We have a Phillips or standard screwdriver. We even have a wrench. And there's so many tools. But I think the problem is the tire is flat. So let's take this off. And this is how you fill up the tire. Put it right here and then you can see, this is how you pump it up. Oh, perfect. I think now it's ready to go. Woohoo! Hey, I think this is the perfect time for the tool song. <laughs> when you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. The wrench tightens pipes going clang, clang. A hammer hits a nail going bang, bang, bang. A drill is making holes going zzz, zzz. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Cutting wires with some pliers going snip, snip. Cutting paper with some scissors going clip, clip. When you're working with tools, you've got to be real safe by wearing gloves on your hands and goggles on your face. And boys and girls, when you're working with tools, always follow mom and dad's safety rules. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. We are at the stone carving shop where you can buy carvings. <laughs> hey, who are you? What's your name? Wyatt. Wyatt? What are you doing right here? Carving stone. Carving stone. Whoa, okay, so you take the chisel and then you use the mallet and then you hit it yep. like a hammer and a nail. Here we go. Oh, check that out. Yeah. All right, now your turn. Oh, you want to color it in? Yes. All right. Wow, that is so awesome. Can I go explore your shop? All right, let's go. How are you two? Oh, doing great. Wonderful weather today. Yeah, what's your names? My name's Ian Williams. I'm uh, the father to Wyatt right here. I'm Keith. Ooh, that's really cool. Nice to meet you two. Keith, you want to show me around? 
Well, uh, we have uh, various items on the wall here for, for our customers. It looks like Wyatt and his crew carved all of these out of stone with that, that mallet and that pointy metal thing. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. What does this look like? This looks like an apple, but it's actually carved out of stone. <laughs> That's really cool. Well, let's continue to explore the town. Yeah! We're at the fire station right now. Do you know what kind of vehicles are at the fire station? Yeah, they have ambulances, they have fire engines. Hey, check them out. Whoa, these are so cool. Wow, whoa, there's a real fire engine right here. What are you doing? We're going on a fire call. We're going on a fire call? That means someone needs help. Can I go on the fire call? Why, sure, Blippi. Okay. All right. So that means we get to go help someone, and we get to go on the fire call. Hey, first things first. Safety first. I first need to buckle up. All right. Now that I'm all buckled up, I'm gonna get ready so we can go on the fire call. I'm gonna put it into gear and then I'm gonna take it out of the parking brake. So now we can go forward. All right, let's go save those people. All right, I think they need a lot of help. So let's go. probably seen a police car before, but right now I'm driving a police truck. <laughs> All right, let me park this thing right on the grass right here. <laughs> All right, and now we can explore the rest of the town. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> Remember the yellow bike? All right, it's a great way to travel the town and it helps the environment. Okay, here we go. Wait a second. Why am I not moving? Oh, <laughs> right over here. <laughs> All right, here we go. That was so much fun going on this bike adventure with you in Tenino, Washington. They definitely have a really cool town here. And it's so great that they have these yellow bikes for people to use for free. That is awesome. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy, good job. All right, see you again. Bye bye. Oh, hey, it's 
me, Blippi. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm painting. Yeah, I'm actually painting just a regular cardboard box. Check it out. See? I took this cardboard box and I'm painting it. Do you know what I'm painting and making? I'm actually gonna make a lemonade stand. Yeah, I love lemonade. It's so yummy. But a lemonade stand isn't used just to drink your own lemonade. It's so then you can sell lemonade to others. <laughs> yeah. So the first thing that you have to do is make a very good looking lemonade stand so then everyone will want to come try your lemonade. So now that it's all painted, I have these yellow triangle ribbons. <laughs> and if I put them on here on the top, it will spark some more customers. <laughs> okay, let's put some tape right here. There we go. Wow. All right, you see these yellow triangles? Yeah, what is the color yellow that you can think of? Lemonade! <laughs> also, the sun is the color yellow. Okay, there we go. And then we actually have a little bit more of this. Wow. Have you ever tried lemonade before? It's really tasty. It's weird because if you just eat a normal lemon, it's really sour. Oh. <laughs> but if you add a lot of water and then some sugar, it'll sweeten it right up and make a nice refreshing drink. Okay, how about right there? Whoa, it looks so good. All right, we have our lemonade stand, blue and orange, my two favorite colors. We added the yellow banners to bring in more customers, but all these customers are gonna be like, what's Blippi doing? <laughs> so we need to tell them what we're doing. We're gonna be selling lemonade, one dollar. <laughs> so let's put this right here. Perfect. How does this look? Can you tell what I'm here for? Yeah, to sell lemonade. All right, now that we built the stand, now we need to make some lemonade and then we can sell it. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, the first ingredient to lemonade is lemons. <laughs> there we go. So great that our friend has their very own lemon tree. That definitely saves us a lot of money when we calculate how much this lemonade cost us to make. Okay, all right, see this pitcher? We're gonna put a lot of water, sugar, lemons, and we're gonna spice it up with a little bit of raspberries to make raspberry lemonade. So the first thing that we need to do is to grab our lemons. Yeah, all right. And only grown-ups should use a knife. So we're going to first take a lemon, we're gonna cut it in half and use this device to squeeze out all of the juice. Just like this, ready? Yeah, do you see all that lemon juice down there? Okay, let's do another. There we go. Whoa, this thing is just pressing out all of the juice. Oh, it looks so yummy. <laughs> I bet it'd be really sour though. <laughs> all right. I think that is plenty of lemon juice for our lemonade. All right, so we need to now pour this in our giant pitcher. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, 
it has a little bit of pulp, but that's okay. Okay, so the lemons were free. So this cost us zero dollars to make. <laughs> we're right on track. Okay, the next thing, let's add our water. a perfect amount. Okay. So the lemons were free. The water was 10 cents. Yeah. And now we need to sweeten it up because this is basically just like watered down lemon juice, which would be really tart and sour. <laughs> so what we have right here is sugar. Yeah. That's a really tasty ingredient. You don't want to eat too much sugar though. But for the lemonade, we're gonna add six scoops. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> there we go. Let's put that aside. Here we go. This lemonade is complete. All you really need to make lemonade are lemons, water, and sugar. But we have that extra ingredient from earlier, remember? Raspberries. Yeah, we're gonna make raspberry lemonade. But before we add those, let's calculate how much this lemonade has cost us thus far. Well, the lemons were free because we have a great friend. <laughs> the water was 10 cents. And then the sugar was 40 cents. So right now we're at 50 cents for this whole pitcher. Whoa. All right. Now we can add our raspberries. Woo. Oh, oh, that silly one fell out. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to just use these. Ready? Here we go. Whoa. Looks like they float. Whoa. Raspberry lemonade. <laughs> okay. So now our total cost, let's calculate. So earlier it was 50 cents and these raspberries cost me 50 cents from the grocery store. So 50 cents plus 50 cents is $1. Wow, this whole pitcher cost us $1. <laughs> All right, let's put in some ice. <laughs> to chill it down, so then we can go and sell it. The ice was free, because our friend also has a freezer full of ice. So, now that we have nice, cold lemonade, raspberry lemonade, we can go and sell it. I think there's about eight cups in here, and our cost is one dollar. So eight cups, if we sell them for one dollar, would be eight dollars. And if we minus $1, that's $7. Whoa, we're gonna make $7. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, we did it. We built this amazing lemonade stand. We made some tasty lemonade. Yeah, now it's time to sell some lemonade. Here we go. Lemonade, lemonade. Who wants some lemonade? Oh. I'd love some lemonade. Oh, okay. How are you doing today? Good, I'm a little thirsty. Ooh, really? Well, it looks like I might have something just for you. Oh, fantastic. How here. much is it? It is one dollar. One dollar? I got that right here. <laughs> Amazing! Thank you. What kind is this? This is not normal lemonade. It is raspberry lemonade. My favorite. I can't wait to try. Thank you. All right, see you later. Bye. Did you see that? You and I just made our very first lemonade sale. Good job. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun learning about business, how to make lemonade with you, and having fun along the way. <laughs> well, time to sell some more lemonade. <laughs> lemonade, lemonade, who wants some lemonade? <laughs> yeah! It's me, Flippy, and I'm just reading this really cool book. 
Yeah, it's called Penguins Love Colors by Sarah Aspinall. <laughs> it's about all these penguins that have a different favorite color. Green, blue, violet, red, orange, and yellow. Whoa, I love this book. Whoa, check this page out. Yeah, it looks like a garden. There's so many flowers and so many colors. Whoa, even a rainbow. Hey, rainbow plus garden equals rainbow garden. <laughs> Hi, Fliffy. Oh, hey, who are you? I'm Sarah Aspinall. <gasps> Sarah Aspinall? Wait a second. <gasps> like the author? And the illustrator of this book? That's me. Whoa, that is so cool! <laughs> would you like to make a rainbow garden of your very own, Blippi? Yeah, I think that would be so much fun! Well, come this way, I've got all of the things you need. Ooh, all right. Here is a box full of lots of fun art surprises for you to have your very own art adventure. Wow, well, thank you so much. And we are very excited to make our very own rainbow garden. Have so much fun, Blippi. All right, see you later. Bye. <laughs> are you excited? <laughs> yeah, I sure am. Let's do this. Whoa. <laughs> all right, let's find all the things that we need inside this box. Whoa, yay. <laughs> oh, wow. Woo. It looks like we have a white palette. Okay, that right there. Wow! Whoa! <laughs> oh! Wow! An apron? Yeah, a green apron. It actually has a lot of paint on it. I'll set that right over here and we'll put that on before we start using all of the paints. Whoa! Hey, a sponge? <laughs> okay, put the sponge right there. Ooh, a salad spinner? Whoa, I know what this is used for. I'll show you really soon. Okay, and we have some scissors, a little paintbrush, <laughs> and of course, a lot of paint. <laughs> all right, I think that's all. Let's see. <laughs> yep. That's all. Okay, let's put on this apron so then I don't get dirty. All right, here we go. Tie it nice and tight. Perfect, there we go. All right, okay, let's organize a little bit. Whee! <laughs> all righty. Okay, so we have our paint over there, salad spinner right there, big piece of white paper, little teeny paintbrush. <laughs> Put that in there. Ooh, can't forget about the book. So then we can reference what we're making. How about that? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, remember? We're making this picture. A rainbow garden. All right. So first we need to make a big piece of paper of rainbow colors. So let's take a little bit of red a paintbrush. And we're gonna put it on the sponge, okay? So let's actually just squirt it right here. Okay, and now that we have a lot of red right there, we need to do all the other colors. But I actually have an idea. I think I should use this palette and fill it up. Might make it a lot easier. Okay, now let's take the paintbrush. All right, and let's put some orange right here. Yeah, so now we have red and then orange. Need to wash off our brush. <laughs> Perfect. And we need some yellow right here. Wow, <laughs> yellow is so pretty. It's like the color of the sun. Okay. Lots of yellow right there. Now we need some green. Okay, whoa, green, perfect. After green, we need some blue. Yeah, perfect. 
perfect. Good amount of blue right there. Do you see this? We're almost done. And now, we need some violet or purple. They're very similar in looks. Wow. There we go. How does that look? Haha, <laughs> yeah, like a rainbow. All right, now for the fun part. Push it down right here. Yeah! Whoa! Look at that! Wow! Yeah! And you do that same thing many times in a row, all the way down. So I'll do that now. Whoa! That is so beautiful! Check it out! Whoa! Okay. I'm actually gonna set this over to the side so it can dry. It's a little wet still. Perfect. Okay, now what we need to do is take this salad spinner. Yeah, <laughs> you normally put salad, kale, romaine, lettuce inside here, and you spin it around. <laughs> and it flings all the water off of it. But today, what we're gonna do is we have a white piece of paper right there, and we get to put some colors in here and then spin it and then it pushes all the paint off to the edges. Okay, ready? We'll put some yellow. Yeah, that looks really good. And then how about we put some orange. I love orange. Yeah, just like that. Wow, yellow and orange. <laughs> And how about a few drops of red? Yeah, how about that? Just a couple. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Now, let's put the top on. Now it's all sealed. Here we go. Whoa! That was awesome. I just spun it so fast. Let's open it up and see what we have inside. Whoa! Wow! That is amazing! We just made that by spinning this around really quick. Okay, it's pretty wet, so let me put it off to the side so then it can dry. Okay, now that I put that off to the side to dry, the original rainbow it's probably ready to use, so let me get it. Yep, it's nice and dry. <laughs> all right, so now what we need to do, let me organize this paint. I don't want it to get all over me now that we're all done painting. So what we're actually gonna do is take this and make a little squiggly line while we cut, ready? Yeah, just like this. Oh, kind of like a worm. Worms squiggle around. <laughs> or a caterpillar. Or a snake. You see this? Yeah, check that out. <laughs> okay, now what I need is a white piece of paper one right on the ground over here and then I put it on the top do you see that yeah it's like a rainbow just like in Sarah's picture so let me get some glue right over here all right now that I have this glue I can glue it down all right. <laughs> have you ever used a glue stick before <laughs> it's kind of fun yeah, it's not all liquidy like the normal type of glue. This is a glue stick. You just kind of like color it on. But it's no color, you know, like as if you're coloring. Yeah, there's no color to it. It's clear. Perfect. Wow, this looks amazing. You and I are doing a really good job. All right, next step is to take this, remember, the rainbow? and cut out some stems and grass from the other side. I'm gonna set this down right over here, so then I can start cutting. Okay, let's cut a nice long stem. Yeah, just like 
like that. It's like a really thin, long rectangle. Perfect. Let me do another one. Yeah, I'll start with two. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoa. There we go. We have two long rectangles. Yeah, one, two. And these are gonna be the flower stems. Okay, put them right under there. Perfect. Now we need some blades of grass. So what we're gonna do is some triangles. Just like that. Some nice, tall blades of grass. <laughs> As if you might need to mow your lawn. <laughs> yeah, and these blades of grass I'm cutting, yeah, are triangles, just like I said. <laughs> Whoa, how does that look? Do you like that blade of grass? <laughs> I sure do. All right, let's put those right here. I'm gonna set this aside and grab my piece of art that had the rainbow on the top. And then, here we go. I'm gonna be able to put these on the bottom. And I'll actually cut some more. But let me flip this around and take my glue stick again. <laughs> Whoa. One right in the center. How about one to the side a little bit, huh? Yeah, there we go. I love doing art. Yeah, how does that look? <laughs> yeah, and we'll do the blades of grass too. It's so colorful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Here we go. All right, okay. <laughs> All right. Looks like I need to cut some more and then glue it all down. So let me grab the piece of paper and I'll cut a bunch, all right? <laughs> Whoa, check it out. All right, I did all the blades of grass and all of the flower stems. <laughs> now we need to do the tops of the flowers. So remember earlier we did the salad spinners? Yeah, look at all these other ones that I have. <laughs> Okay, so let's cut them up so then we can use them for the flower petals. Let's do a half circle. Yeah, like that. How about that? And then we can also do, yeah, something really big because this one is going to be a very big flower. Yeah, perfect. How does that look? All right, and then we need some leaves on this one. So let's go like this. Yeah. And, perfect. Yeah, just like that. And then we can start gluing them down and making our flowers. So let's go like this. How does this look? That's a beautiful flower. I love the smell of flowers. <laughs> and then, this one will be another flower. Yeah, and a stem. Okay, let's do a, actually, not a stem, a leaf. We already have the stems right there. So a leaf right there, right in the center. Okay, I'm gonna cut some more and continue to glue them down. <laughs> Here I go. All right, last but not least, <laughs> let's put the center of the flower. Yeah, that's like where all the pollen is. <laughs> all right, how does that look? Wow, we made our very own rainbow garden. Wow, what a beautiful picture. <laughs> Whoa. Well, thank you so much for learning about all the colors of the rainbow today with me and about flowers and also that amazing book about penguins by Sarah. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. All right, I'm gonna go frame this and put this in my tree house. <laughs> All right, see you later. <laughs> Come on, everyone, let's.
make learning fun bleep, 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 bleep. So much to learn about It'll make you wanna shout bleep.